of your fighting city. People like Pat Dossman and, and Dwight Jonan, who spend time and have done it for 15 to 20 years now, providing us a community choir concert that, for our size city, is, is a, 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 a boon and, a, and a, a, a beacon, really, for people who like the, the, the arts and talents in the city of Eunice. So anyway, uh, I guess the, the question I pose to myself is, why do we as a Rotary Club do this? And I think, do we do it for ourselves so that we can uh, feel good about our own accomplishments or recognizing them? Do we do it because we want people to know what a good community and a good group of citizens we have in the city of Eunice? So we can say, gosh, look what we have here. We want to, you people to recognize and realize what a good, good area we come from and what devoted citizens we have. Do we do it to encourage people by example to keep on working and maybe shine their light on things? And again, Pam knows her grandmother was a citizen of the year back in, again, I don't have my list, but 47. 47. You know, we have, uh, yeah, we have uh, you know, again, John Reed, the father, and Al Marie, the, 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 the mother of Anne Reed, were citizens of the year. So you have what, what we believe is, that what I believe in, is that by example, passed on not just to us as general citizens, but to people who are your children and grandchildren. That, Life is not made up entirely of what you do. Some of the quotes Don made, life is a lot made up, not what you do for yourselves, but what you do for others. Sometimes that others never see. So I think we give this Citizen of the Year as a combination of those factors. It's important that some civic club recognize people who go beyond their occupation, beyond the call of their occupation, and render service to the citizens of humans. Robin, you were nominated for this award by Dr. Tommy Hillman because of your work with the Boy Scouts. And Tommy did not have to say a lot to the Rotary Club because we know you've been there before. And I didn't, have, I didn't need a lot of instruction because she's my backdoor neighbor and I see that uh, trailer pulling off on all the weekends to go take the Scouts everywhere. And at the end of the weekend when she comes back, I see one lady cleaning out the trailer generally and doing stuff and that's wrong. She lets the kids go home because they have schoolwork, they have things they have to do, but Robin is making sure that everything is folded, cleaned, and ready for the next camping trip or whatever adventure they have. There aren't many women who lead Boy Scout troops throughout the country, but here in Eunice, the Scouts are fortunate to have Robin Parker. Robin was a 1979 graduate of Eunice High, or is a 79 graduate of Eunice High, <laughs> with a bachelor's degree from Northwestern State University in 1982. She's worked in several fields throughout her, her, her uh, after graduating from college. She's currently the uh, paralegal and the office manager for Kenneth Pete's law office. Robin's connections with Boy Scouts, though, is a family thing. And again, pointing out how we pass down lessons to our children and our grandchildren without knowing it. Robin's father and her brother were active in Boy Scouts. So she's been around scouting all her life. She has twin girls, John, uh, twin twins, a girl and a boy, John and Patricia. Sorry about that, John. <laughs> and she wanted her son to be involved in Cub Scouts when she moved back to Eunice. So she served as a Cub Master for Pack 430. And when her son reached the age to leave Cub Scouts and join Boy Scouts, she looked for a Boy Scout troop for him to join. One of the things that came up in talking about Robin with her boss, with her family, and with the nom her nominator, Tommy Hillman, is that Robin is extremely organized and likes to take charge. So she did, she, she exemplified that when she wanted John to become a Boy Scout and found out the scouting in units was disorganized, she decided to organize it. And boy, did she do a good job. She took over the troop, she recruited members, she became the Scoutmaster for John's troop, she served as Scoutmaster now for four years, is that correct, Robin? Uh, and she's serving on the training team as an advisor for the 425 Venture Crew, which is where Patricia, her daughter, is a participant of, or a, a member of, excuse me. And she's also serving <coughs> as an advisor to the training team for the Evangelist Area Scouts, which is scouting throughout the entire Acadiana. As I said, the members of the Rotary Club know Robin from her visits to the club, her solicitations of funding, and her bragging on all of her, her troops both the Venture Troop and the Scout Troop. Uh, she wants to do more for scouting, and as I said, I scratched my head because I was a Boy Scout in Eunice in 19, 
58 to about 60, and uh, y'all sure do a lot more ambitious things than we did back then. That's all I can say. Camping was the, the highlight of our, of our scouting. So Robin, it is my honor on behalf of the Rotary Club to present you and recognize you as Citizen of the Year for 2011. I think you've already gotten your plaque, but I'll take a picture with you. <laughs> Before I turn the mic over to Robin, I'm going to say one thing. Uh, Tommy Hillman had to violate both the Rotary four-way test and the Boy Scout oath when he invited Robin to come speak today because he said she was coming here to give us an update on her work as a Boy Scout. <laughs> but I hope she'll forgive Tommy for his fibs and the Rotary Club for his, and we are very proud to have you. This wasn't the speech I had prepared. I was going to talk about the like therapy that we had been working on for three months that we're going to part in this weekend. Uh, one of my joys in life, I will always say, has been Scout. Uh, when I did my wood batch training, which was an advanced uh, Boy Scout training, or leader training, I always told everybody if I could go back to wood batch and do that again, an intensive training that took 18 months to complete, or take a European vacation, I would go back to Wood Badge. Wood Badge gave us the opportunity to be 11 years old again. It put us in the place of the child. We started 11 years old. By the time we finished Wood Badge, you turn out to be about 18, which that's a great age too. But I cannot accept this award without first saying that this award actually belongs not only to me, but to the children you see sitting here before you. So if y'all would stand up, Patricia. This is my daughter, Patricia, one of my twins. She's a twin. Jara is her twin brother, also mine. John's a current Eagle Scout and also part of my venturing crew, Ruby Clancy. President of the Venture Crew, uh, Brant Hillman, Dr. Tommy's son. There's <laughs> Graham, I'm sorry. I have Brant Graham. Okay, we'll get this straight in a minute. I haven't had this straight in two years, but we'll try. Grant Hillman is my senior patrol leader for the troop. Um, next to him is Grant Clancy, is right next to him. My senior assistant patrol leader for troop, and then Mr. Cody Landry. Cody is a current Eagle Scout. He is part of my venture crew, and he has also gone into the ranks of adult leadership as assistant scoutmaster to Troop 425. Right. These guys are very happy to applaud. 